Thank you for the opportunity that we have, Lord, to receive your holy word. Father, we ask that as we humble ourselves before your word, in your spirit, you will speak to us. Let your will be done. We thank you for your great blessing today. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray, Lord, that your power and your spirit will affect us. We thank you. Just lift up your hands right now and ask the Lord to fill you with his spirit. Ask the Lord to speak to you today. His will should be done in your life. Father, we thank you so much for your blessing. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your anointing. Fill us, Lord. Touch our eyes. Thank you, Lord, for your blessing. Thank you, Lord, for your blessing. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Just tell God you thank him for ministering to you tonight. God has opened your eyes. God is blessing you today. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Kandolama, Shebelebe, Balandore, Meride, Parala, Banda, Zendola Makata, Sakibale, Kodelakes. Ask God to make you spiritual tonight. Move out of your carnality, your earthliness, and become spiritual. Receive something spiritual. All those who are familiar with church services and are used to everything, ask God, Lord, minister to my heart tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray, Lord, Kandolama madele ke madazamo de tamazane bano shande mana zama kopala banare ben paye bando lebe kare damadole man zeleke ban paye bandole kadale madole mazen donde ke banda kadele kabada glory be to god glory be to jesus said azome tare bene takel de kize kame kwaide koba keda kada kwaze Kayaba katoze kamadane gose tale mandala badan pe lama no sane baka dekan dole kalo regebes modesh aba zanelebe kalo zeli gobal gano gore gata sale bano pele de tai tamo zane kaba kode kere kado zo madelanche dai zama zoke taya o la bana satelege mone kare dan de sada Lo bachara lima dam, dele mezan, dele mezan, kaya done, kaban, malan, sayan, paja, kera, mala, sadola, maya, kade, mazan, delebeke. Come out of carnality, come out of earthly, fleshly worldliness. Pare banola zame kadamere, enter into the spiritual realm. Operate and maneuver in the spirit. Kado zane la bane kare zane le beka. Kaya barele kazonda la mazande. Feka tele me zana damela. Waya nama shobe lebe ramazade. Kada da kada ba kada ba kada ba kada. Kaya bada sutala ba dande lebe. Leish tebo tabachilo. Chebara zabatole saba. Ebala ba suta ayabalo ayabalo. Eba, 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 Abaya, 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 Bola, Bare la sa, Faya, 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 Baya, Faya, Baya, Faya, Baya, Laba, Faya, Baya, Roba, Sala, Molala, Paria, Bala, Ikado, Da, Tas Ele, Katal, Baza, Tal Esbe, Lekuta, Asbaliga, Chule, Tasepe, De Keto, Tale, Bakatale, Rebe, Setola, Banake, Debele, Legasate, Tage, Debesi, Chede taba, padegese, tosteke, chekese, patale, talege, pagaya, kozeke, tamila, bole, tami, taya, shobe, tala, seke, kade, palede, tode, tagabas, tejebados, tabelibaralos, debel talaze, cheke tiza palede, taseba talo deke basta, e dahola zabaleka. La creste lo paldo sabicatila, leke tal halbakila, radel habosa latare, shekete, kete kuta kaya ke kabalu, kadikal habosa, talebekita zamola, 
reto satecha chike to site pastiko tata tayevos tahali balake to stole raste liko kadego stale kadego stale kas kol kakaba oda habeza jule aspa erio res alberigos de colegas tolegaste chico seketu sa tutitato kina ekos e crudi crudi alvehirgo rikul hel brigidio Gile ecria rustical hegrubia, prekele gusahagre, chure arresto, terriberi sodale, prestalode perdise, estele, preste el pergila, ros el pirda, sheldes, shikedes, chaba, custe, ketetisa lagatebe, prasta leke totala, yaka, upa asinge, chege, chaga, chobe, chima, casto, kemo kidasa, Cole catase, cebe tosse legata, kel begiro, coste, peligerosa, peligrosa, shelo la lava haligo, calego paria le, la halva dele se le bele, palado salaba, da la bella la bada la bada la bo, chala lava se bere, hola la la lava daria le le bende le le Glory be to Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Holy, holy, Lord, you are worthy. And I'm honored to sing your praise. King of glory, God Almighty, hallowed be your name. Hallowed be, hallowed be your name, hallowed be your name, hallowed be your name.
Father, we thank you for tonight. Thank you for an opportunity to visit heaven tonight. To see what's going on there. To go in and out of the supernatural. To go in and out of the spirit realm. To interact, Lord, with you. To relate with you. Thank you, Holy Ghost, for your presence. In Jesus' name, amen. You may be seated. Turn with me to Revelation chapter 12. Now, last week, I began to share with you about spiritual things. And I'm, I want to continue. In 1 Corinthians chapter 12, right, it says, Now, concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I do not want you to be unaware, or the King James says, I do not want you to be ignorant. All right? All right? Concerning spiritual gifts. Now, I was emphasizing that you, the word gifts in the King James Bible at least, I'm sure of that, whenever there is a word which is in italics, it means that that word is not there. But the translators thought that by putting that word there, they would make the sentence, the phrase, or the paragraph more meaningful. Or they, it, it will bring out the meaning. So you can understand if you were the translator in 1617 or whatever the century was, and you came across a sentence like this, now concerning spiritual, brethren, I do not want you to be ignorant. You would have added something to help the word of God. Is that not so? But if we take away the word, and I, I said that, the word gifts is one of the very misleading words that you could ever use for spiritual things because it gives you the impression that it's something you can turn on and off. All right? The lady in the corner there, are you all right? Did you close your eyes already? We just started. We haven't even read the Bible. Huh? She's, she's in the spirit. Maybe she's not feeling well. Anyway. So concerning spirituals, spiritual things, spiritual, anything spiritual, I don't want you to be ignorant. So I want us to take a walk through the spirit well. How many want to go on a walk? So we just climb into heaven for a walk, and then we just come back. So turn to Revelation chapter 12, and let's go for a walk. Right. A great sign appeared in heaven, and a woman clothed with the sun, and the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. And she was with child, and she cried out, being in labor and in pain to give birth. Then another sign. Now, all these things are taking place in heaven. So if you haven't seen them before, I don't blame you. Because they are taking place in heaven. Once you haven't been there before, you, 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 you've never had a revelation of heaven. Too bad. But the good news is that somebody can have the revelation and you better benefit from it. Now, when it comes to spirituals, one of the things you should realize is that they are special things that are given as the Spirit wills, as He wants. Okay? You can never take away the will of the Spirit, just as you cannot take away the will of a man. If you will to go to hell, you can go to hell. If you will to go to heaven, you can. God will not interfere with that. Similarly, you cannot interfere with the will of the Spirit. So he gives as he wills, not as the person wills. 
So spirituals are done as the spirit wills. So spiritual things happen as and when the spirit of God wills. So if he doesn't will for you to see Jesus or for you to see heaven, brighter, you can fast for the rest of the year. You ain't going to see Jesus. You will see visions of yam and kinky and rice throughout your fast, but you won't see Jesus. Because to see Jesus and to see heaven is a special thing decided by the Spirit. Okay? And it's like he chooses. It's like a king of old. I choose what I want. Okay? And the, and, 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 and the Spirit just decides, uh, this brother there, I'm going to show him myself. Yeah, this one there, I'm going to show. There was a lady, Derek Prince's wife. You, uh, she, was not, she was not his wife yet, but she was uh, in Norway or Sweden or one of those places. She's a young lady, and um, she had a vision, and she saw Jesus sitting in her room. And she was so touched by this vision, she decided to give herself to Jesus and live for Jesus. And she did. And she started to become a missionary. She went to Jerusalem, and what she knew how to do was to look after children. She found all the rejected children and Mad children, bad children, any, any children that people didn't want. And she took them and she made a home for them, you know. Because she had had a vision of Jesus. It was an unusual thing for a white lady to just get up and go find people and help them. You understand? Yeah. Why, why haven't you seen that vision? I, I don't know why. I don't know why you haven't seen. Okay? But it's as he wills. All right? You've got to allow a man to choose what he wants and who he wants, when he wants. You can't, you, can't, you, can't, you can't change that. You know, some of you, you look at the president, you think you should have somebody else to help him. You think you shouldn't have that person. You should have this. This would be the best person. He's got a will, brother. He can choose who he wants to choose. And if he didn't choose you, too bad. You get it? You can't interfere with people's wills. You can't make people do what you want them to do. Even God doesn't do that. Why do you want to interrupt the Holy Spirit when he's choosing things, choosing people? I was in my house when a prophet came to stay there. I mean, I didn't even see him as a prophet. I saw him as my convert. He was sleeping in the next room. And then he, he came out one day and said, uh, whilst he was sleeping in the next room, Jesus appeared to him, came into the room and gave him a fire in his, uh, in his uh, palm, and the fire began to burn, and uh, it was like a miracle type of ministry or some kind of wild ministration. And I was, I was, just, I was just amazed because I said, look, I'm in my house. If you, are, if you are coming to the house, you see the owner of the house. Say hello at least, even if you don't want to stay there. But Jesus didn't even bother. He came bypass, he came upstairs, didn't come to my room went to another room, and just ministered to somebody else, blessed a visitor who has come there for just a day. But he has a will, and he can choose whom he wills. And, and that prophet is my junior, and I, as the senior, should have received it and pass it on to him. <laughs> but he has a will. I said he has a will, and he chooses who he wants to show Things too. When Jesus came, rose from the dead, he appeared to Mary Magdalene. That's it. Non scoring people, as far as you are concerned. <laughs> she had the vision clear. She had a vision that most of us would never have anything like that. To have a vision where the person you see in the vision is real. So much so that she, she thought he was the gardener. And she said, Where have you put my Lord? How many of you have, your visions are like, I mean, something that you are sleeping and then you are seeing something, you know, as if you are imagining. You are not sure whether you are imagining or, or, or it's a vision. <laughs> but Mary Magdalene, actually, live and clear, she was talking to the person. <laughs> you wouldn't have chosen Mary Magdalene. First of all, it said, Mary Magdalene, seven demons came out of her. She's a dirty woman. Yeah. Based on her background, you would have rejected her. 
that Jesus said, Charlie, my main person I'm coming to see when I land first. I won't mind Peter. I won't mind J- J- Peter when I was suffering on the cross. <laughs> he, said, he said he doesn't know me. Uh, he's lucky that I've not changed his post. Yeah. All the disciples scattered. Mary Magdalene, Mary, the mother of Jesus, and then little boy John. So, so when Jesus was sharing wild, wild visions, he gave to Mary Magdalene and then to John. This book is for John. Yeah. These were the three guys. Peter and all those, he just gave them positions. He, just, he didn't change the position. Hey! <laughs> So, one of the things about spirituals is that it's the will of the spirit. And he, I don't know how he chooses, but you know, sometimes when somebody chooses somebody, you will not know why until maybe you go inside the case, you realize that there is a reason why this person has chosen this person. So, brothers, there is a reason why the Holy Spirit does what he wants to do. And that's one of the things about spiritual things. God can use a little child. Kenneth Hagin spoke about a, a pastor who was traveling on a plane. And he was using this story to explain that when a child has not yet sinned, has not known sin and has not, he says, and when I knew sin, then I died. He was explaining that before a child knows sin, the child is in contact with God. So children know things that adults who have sinned and are disconnected from heaven don't know. They don't know, but the child knows. So, he spoke about one pastor who was going, who was traveling, and they were standing at the airport, and the little child was standing by the parent. And as the father was going on a plane, the child asked the mother, why is daddy going on that plane? They said, oh, because daddy is traveling. And the child asked the, the mother, doesn't daddy know that the plane is going to crash? He said they were standing at the airport as the plane took off and crashed. Because the spirit of the child is not, is not dead, has not sinned. See, death is separated, separation from God. And that's explaining how when the rapture comes, babies and all those little kids will be gone. As well as those born again. Concerning spirituals. <laughs> I'm talking about the spiritual things. Yeah. So God could choose a child and then he could choose an ignorant, ignoramus, uneducated by his choosing. You're going to say what? I said, you're going to say what? You can't say nothing, man. It is his will. Yeah. One day I met a, the wife of a king. You know, like Esther? I, I've seen one, Vashti, those type of, I've met one. So I said, are you the wife of the king? She said, I'm one of the wives. So I said, are you the wife? She said, I'm praying to be a real wife. So she couldn't answer the question. I said, are you the favorite wife? She said, I think so. So I said, how do you know? Because he calls me often. So I said, when does he call? He said, call me anytime. He can call me. Anytime. So I said, anytime. So anytime. I said, midnight. She said, yeah. I said, 1 a.m. She said, yeah. So I said, if he calls you at 2 a.m., 1 a.m., what do you do? She said, what do I do? I go. <laughs> I go. And the king wills who he wants this Thursday. I want this one. That's it. You're going to say what about that? He has chosen what he wants this evening. <laughs> oh, you don't think so? It is his will. So God is just, he, he can, he choose anybody here at all. And you will never know why. Often. Why he chooses. So, just thank God whenever he chooses someone. And if he hasn't chosen you, you have to read things that people who were chosen 
have seen. A chosen one writings you must read. What do you think? Because we won't all be chosen. So if you are not chosen, somebody is chosen. Read what he saw. That's why I like Rick Joyner and Papa Hagen and John. John is now one of my favorite guys, especially Revelation. I like, I like to just walk through to see if I'll see any new, new creature in heaven. All right. A great sign appeared in heaven. Okay? We are reading it because we didn't have it ourselves. Now, start, the preaching is now starting from now. Okay. A great sun appeared in heaven. A woman clothed with the sun and moon. She was with child. She cried. Then another sign appeared in heaven. And behold, a great red dragon having seven heads, ten horns. And on his head were seven diadems. And his tail swept away a third of the stars of heaven and threw them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman who was about to give birth, so that when she gave birth, he might devour her child. This is the scripture that is used to teach the theory that the devil deceived one third of all the angels and came down to heaven with them. The dragon used his tail to take one third of the stars. This is the scripture that is used for that theory. All right? Are you there? We've almost finished preaching. Verse 5. She gave birth to a son, a male child, who is to rule all the nations with a rod of iron. And her child was caught up to God and to his throne. All right? Then the woman fled into the wilderness where she had a place prepared by God so that she would be nourished for 1,260 days. Amen. Now notice... She gave birth to a child who was to rule the nations with a rod of iron. This is just a, a little point to all of you who are in leadership positions. One of the reasons why you are not doing well, or sometimes you don't do well, is because you are ruling with a rod of um, straw, a rod of what? Bamboo. Bamboo is even hard. Feathers, rod of feathers. I just wanted to tell. I just want to tell you something. You know, people are really some way. If you don't, if you are not strong, and you don't exert a certain strength, you will never get what you need, and people will take you for granted. They will steal everything you have. They will spoil everything you build. They will mulliganize your life. They will undermine you. They will be disloyal. They will never be happy. You will never be content if you allow people to just be themselves. Eh? It's not going to be easy. So just a little, you see the spirit, I believe, wants to tell some people here, brother, put aside your rod of feathers and shaky reeds. Take iron and rule. And you see, you see, countries that have had strong but kind leaders have done very well, like Singapore. You see, the strength is needed. You go and clear the hawkers from the street, the next moment they will come back. There's no strength. But that rod of iron is what the Lord will rule the nations of the world with. Do you understand? And that's what brings order. That's why we all want to go to Europe. Because there's a rod of iron. You can't just park anywhere. You can't build a road three lanes. Three lanes and use two lanes to park cars. I don't know where you live, but where I live, there are such things. And they even put, put shoes. And they've made an asphalt road of three lanes. And people are selling shoes on one of the three shoes up to the line, the white line. Then after the white line, a bus is parking. Until even the third lane is almost gone. You have to squeeze by the wall. A rod of iron will move all these things in one moment. 
One day I went to Zimbabwe and I, I was talking, they were talk, telling us about a dam that they built. Uh, I, I forget the name of it. Is it uh, Kenji Dam or what, what dam is it called? The dam in Zambia. Ari- Kariba. And they were saying that uh, um, there was a god called Nyami Nyami. And that god walks up the river and down every year once. So when they wanted to build the dam, the people said, no, Nyami Nyami will be coming this way and then he will go back in the evening. One said, yes. So when you build the dam, Nyami Nyami cannot come on his usual journey. So there will be no, be no electricity in, in so many places and so many countries. But at that time, they were being ruled by the white man. The white man said, we are building it. Nyami Nyami or Nyimi Nyimi, we are building it. And they built it. That is what gives them electricity up to today. Yeah. Go to our road here. There is a road here, just here. They are building a new road. There is a, a shrub. There is a, there's a shrub surrounded by a little wall. And that shrub cannot be moved for a road, a highway that will serve all of us. No. And if you go to Cape Coast, there is a similar is it a crab or what? It is in the road. A tree. Uh-huh. What is that place called, that area? Huh? Mommy, what is it called? Kotokra, Chapel Square area. But the rod of iron will lead to development. Rice farm. We are going to make rice farm. Then somebody, this my land is here, this, 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 ah, no rice. You should see how we import rice. Ghana, everything is imported. Though. That's why people, Ghanaians who live abroad, when you tell them the price of a house, they don't believe it. Or if, if you are wise, you will not build for somebody who is abroad. Because he will not believe you when you, 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 you tell him how much you have spent. Because they don't know that everything that we use from cement to iron rod to everything is imported plus duty. By the rod of iron. So, brothers and sisters, one day I came around one of my young men. I, I came and I was sorting out things here. He said, he told me later, I, said, I have not seen you that way before. You have not seen me that way before. You have not been here for long. Yeah. If you don't, you think, you see, when I first started the ministry, I thought that to be a pastor, you must be a very nice, kind person. Nice, kind, they will run over you, they walk over you. If you are not strong, sometimes you see me when I'm preaching and I can be strong. I say, you, move that, do this, do that, do that. Yeah. Because if you leave them, you, eh. <laughs> Anything you have done, that's why we don't have any fountain in the church. Because if we have a fountain, they will wee-wee in the water. <laughs> they will kill the fish. They, the, fount, the light will not work. <laughs> the water will be, oh, you will never. So there's no fountain in our church. Oh, you don't understand the message. <laughs> Keep watching. Rod of iron. Anyway, that's just some, for somebody. Tell somebody, maybe it was for you. You needed to get the rod of iron message. Hmm? All right. Are you there? Okay. Then there was war in heaven. And uh, Michael and his angels waging war with the dragon. And the dragon and his angels waged war. And they were not strong enough. And there was no longer found a place for them in heaven. And the great dragon was thrown down, the serpent of old, who is called the devil, Satan, who deceived this world. He was thrown down to the earth, and his angels were thrown down with him. Ah, okay, that's it, right there. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven saying, Now, salvation and the power and the kingdom of God and authority have come, for the accuser of our brethren has been thrown down, he who accuses them before our God day and night. That's the whole topic. And they overcame him 
because of the blood of the Lamb and because of the word of their testimony. And they did not love their life. They did not love their life. They did not love. How does the King James say? They loved not their lives. Unto death. They loved not their lives. Unto the death. This one says they did not love their life even when faced with death. They loved not their lives. 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 And then he says that in the next verse, For this reason, rejoice, O heaven, and you who dwell in them. Heaven must rejoice when there are people who do not love their lives. They love not their lives. They love not their life, their earthly life, and their cars, and their houses, and their money. And everything else that they could ever get, they did not love it. And therefore, heaven rejoiced. You see, the spiritual place rejoices when there are people like this who don't love their lives. But when the church is full of people who love themselves and love their lives and love their skin, how can I send somebody who loves his skin so much to half a sini or to Enchi from Accra. Somebody who has a visa to London and America and his passport. Valid visa. How can I send him to Asen Kregua? And last week I sent people to Asen Kregua, Samra Boy, half a sini, Axim, and Enchi. These five towns. Graduates from the university. People with bright eyes for the future. I said, go. Said they love not their lives. Therefore, rejoice, oh heaven. Be happy, oh heaven. You found some people who are not in love with their lives. And when you don't love your life, you can't put it down. And most of us cannot be useful to God because we, we love our life too much. We love our skin. You can't be a good soldier if you love yourself. Me, mom, dear, I can't be any, a good soldier for earthly battles because if they are shooting, I'll hide. <laughs> I don't want to lie to you. I don't see why I should die a foolish death. And sometimes when they are fighting, I don't know why people don't just shout, Aye! and then they lie, just lie down so that when the whole thing is over, then you get up. You get up and go home. So that when I watch the phone, I say, ah, you're going to die. Just do, ah, and then you fall down. 